Hey guys, this is Jamrin Guys Show Tutorial 62 Mockup Challenge Part 2. In this tutorial, we are going to implement this mockup challenge. So, without wasting our time, let us create new project for Android as well as iOS. Now, let us start Visual Studio for Mac. You can use your Windows system also. Now, let us create a new project by going to File New Project and then select Blank Form Application. You can give any name as you like. Here I'll give challenge 1 as it's a challenge second. You can check my challenge 1 tutorial in tutorial number 61. Now let us go to our main page.xaml. Here is the place where we are going to code. As like tutorial number 61, let us add scroll view so that whole UI gets scrolled. Now let us add grid and then I'll add grid row definition. Here I'll define its height as auto so that we can place image inside it and then another height as infinite so that we can place anything like text inside it. Now let us add image source where I'll be defining it in grid row as zero and aspect as aspect fill so that it can fill whole entire place and I'll place horizontal option as fill and expand and vertical option as start and expand. Now let us close that image. Now let us give image source. We can download any image from internet. And then for this tutorial, I have just downloaded it. I'll just show in Finder. Now what I will do is that I'll open it with Sketch. You can use Photoshop also. Now the advantage of using Sketch is that here I can define its height for iOS as well as Android. Our take is we can define width size as 362 and then height as 201. Now let us export to both Android and iOS format. Let us select iOS, then we can export it. You can use a Photoshop also. For my convenience, I am using Sketch. Let us create a new folder in desktop as mock challenge and let us export for the for android let us do it for same export and then let us create android folder and then let us export over here that's all now our main task is to call all those images that were exported for Android and iOS inside our resources folder of platform specific project. Now let us call all those images. Now let us give image source as education.png that we saved locally inside our platform specific projects. Then let us add frame whose corner radius is 10 and then background color let us give as white. Now I'll add grid.row span as 2, margin as 20 and 150 from top and then left from 20 and as well as from down 20 so that it has a margin now let us add a grid row spacing as 10 and then I'll give row definition height as auto you can add n number of rows if you have n number of contents so I'll be basically having three contents or you can define any number of rows according to the content that you have that is our level will be defined inside grid row 0 
I'll give its text as instruction and font size as medium and grid row 0 so that I am defining level inside grid row 0 and I'll give a box view inside grid row 1 or as well as 2 and then horizontal option as fill and expand and then again I'll copy it the label and then I'll add text as anything you may like you can play with those value I'll add inside grid row 2 and I'll add a random text inside grid level and another box view so that's all now let us again define grid row 4 let us add another text as all the best and then I'll give font size as medium font attribute as bold and then vertical option as center now let us give horizontal option as fill and expand horizontal text alignment as center now let us create a button which will be defined inside grid row 5 and give it text as pay now and then bottom color as silver you can give anything you may like you can play with those values and then text color as white that's all regarding our ui part now let us build and run our project whether it gives a successful output or not okay we got our expected output that's all thank you guys thanks for watching